Hey guys, my name is Michaela, and welcome back to my channel, Michaela Art Treasures. Today in this video, I'm going to be another how to draw a cat tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cat walking. So first thing that you want to do is take your pencil and draw three circles. One for the head, and then two more that are a bit bigger for the body, like this. If you want, you can get a reference photo uh, so that you can get the proportions right. I have a sketch that I did a while ago that I'm looking at to make sure I do everything. And uh, this is, uh, I'm using a very light hand to draw in the circles. So next what you want to do is start uh, drawing in uh, your basic uh, sketch. So for the snout, you kind of just want to go out kind of like this. Almost like you're going to draw a nose for a human. And then go straight down and loop it back around like this for the snout of the cat. And kind of a little bit for the jawline right there. Then you just want to draw in the ears kind of like a curved triangle. And add a little bit of flap to it like that. And you can draw in the other ear too. like that and you can always erase things if you don't like the way they look I'm gonna change the ear there so now going back to the back you just kinda wanna make the neck come down a little bit and then draw your lines around your circles I didn't draw my circles in the right place but just draw your lines around the circle just to get that basic body shape. You don't want to curve too far in in the back otherwise it looks kind of slumped but curve in a little bit extra for the belly. Once you have all these steps done, you can get into drawing in the legs. For the legs, uh, what you want to do is draw a straight line and then draw a circle wherever you want your joints to be. The legs are very complicated, so this is where I definitely recommend you grab a reference photo. Uh, always, the most important thing to remember when drawing cats is that their legs bend the opposite way that ours do. So if you made your cat bend like this, it wouldn't look right, but if you made it bend like this, it would look better. So I'm using reference again from a sketch I did a while back, just so I can get all the proportions right. For the paw, you also just wanna draw in a simple circle. You do not whatsoever have to draw the legs and head exactly the way I am. Feel free to have freedom with your picture. Try to get some motion in your cat by adding lots of bends and joints in your legs if you just draw them straight. It, there won't be very much motion in your cat. So then once you have all your lines in, once again, do this with a very light hand, you want to kind of draw in the actual beef of the leg. And the legs are always thicker up here and then come down to a thinner point. Not exactly a point, but come down to be thinner at the paw. Then the way I draw paws is I just go down like this and loop it up around doing this for however many toes I want to be showing. Sometimes you don't want to show as many toes because of the direction that the paw is facing. And the little 
thumb type toe that cats and dogs have always points to the inside so you don't want to draw it out here so once you have your paw in you can go work on the next leg and for this one you kinda want to add in that thumb thumb toe that's right here then you can go in and draw in the rest of your toes like so and then you just keep doing the same for the rest of them on the back legs the paw is kinda attached on the end of this part of the leg so it kinda just uh, there's not really a definition of where the paw is, it kind of just comes and straights, goes straight down. Unless it's kind of bending a little bit like this one, uh, it kind of goes down and then you can kind of see that it bends right here. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick or stuffed up in this video, I'm currently going through allergy season. Everyone's favorite season. I apologize that there are parts in this video where I'm not saying anything. Just because I'm trying to focus on what I'm drawing. A tip I have for you for how to learn to draw cats is just draw them all the time in your sketchbook, for speed paints, even if you're not going to record it, just draw, 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 practice, practice, practice. I myself has trouble uh, I have trouble practicing, so that's why I've started doing some um, sketch with me so that I can record and draw at the same time. My cat is looking a little bit stubby at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to make this leg a bit longer. This is what erasers are for. If there's something that you don't like about your piece, you can change it. And don't be afraid to spend a lot of time on your piece. That's another problem I have with drawing is I, I, I be, I'm, bleh, I'm lazy and uh, I say, oh, this is good enough. So I definitely uh, recommend that if you're being lazy, just stop being lazy. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh keep going until you have the piece to where you like it. So I'm just gonna finish up my piece the way I like it. You can pause the video and do the same. Um, but I'm just gonna skip ahead. Now that you have your legs to the right length that you want them, uh, we can quickly add in the tail. Now for the tail, uh, cat tails are very bendy so they could go up and around like this or down like that or curl around like this so you can really do the tail however you want I'm gonna take it up and bend it around like this you can add more detail to the <laughs> detail to the tail once you're uh, once you have erased all your lines so now just quickly erase all the lines that you don't need and I'll be right back. So now I have all my lines erased. I definitely recommend that you pause this video right now so that you can do the same. So now that we have all of our lines erased, I went, in, I went ahead and already did uh, the facial features of the cat. If you want a more detailed, um, a more detailed tutorial on how to... Um, draw cat a cat face and a cat head 
I'll leave a link to that video up in the iCart in the right top hand corner. Uh, so now really all that's left is to add in the finishing details. So just like tufts of fur here and there wherever the body bends. So kind of on the chest, on the legs, on the back. I also um I also changed the direction of the uh the the direction of the way that this ear was facing just because I didn't think it looked very good so I changed that. So you can just add tufts of fur here and there depending on uh how heavy or how light furred you want your cat to be, that's how much, how big the tufts of fur would be. Um, I'm just gonna keep the cat a little bit sleek furred, but still have tufts here and there. You can do some tufts on the tail, or if you wanted to, you could even have the whole tail be a giant tuft, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep it sleek furred, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then you're done. Once you've added all the tufts of fur where you wanted them to, and added all the extra detail that you want, you are done with your picture. Thank you guys so much for watching, and always remember, God loves you. Bye!